Hey traders, check this out. Boom! <laughs> How cool is that? Check out the analysis behind this trading idea along with another trade that's on my radar on this week's edition of the Forex Market Preview. Hey traders, welcome back to your favorite time of the week, the release of the Forex Market Preview. If you guys are new, my name is Akil Stokes. I'm the Chief Currency Analyst and Head Trading Coach over at TradeEmpower.com. And this is a weekly video that we've been producing for the last, what, five years now, uh, providing you some insight into how we do technical analysis and our philosophy on the markets here at Trade Empower. If you like what you see, you can uh, show us that by doing three things. You can one, hit that like button. You can leave a comment or, and you can of course subscribe to this channel. That way you don't miss our next video. We have a handful of traders here on this Trade Empowered website. Myself, Jason Stapleton, Jason Greystone, and Charles Miles. And we're randomly posting videos at random times. So just make sure you subscribe. That way you don't miss it. Also, if you're interested in taking your trading to the next level, I recommend heading over to our website, tradeempowered.com, clicking that learn to trade tab at the top and checking out the free trainings that we have. I personally recommend Into the Gray and also make sure you're on our email list. That way you don't miss any free workshops that we do. There may be some coming around the corner if you get what I'm saying. Uh, maybe not. Don't hold me to that. We kind of never know. We put our things together like a week in advance and then just say, shoot out an email and invite some people. Um, but we, we do a lot throughout the year, so you don't wanna miss that. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a trading opportunity on the Aussie Canada, and then later on, I'll show you the analysis behind the pound or the dollar yen trade that I teased you with in the beginning. But first, I just wanted to give you guys a little recap of how my trading week has been. Many of you follow my live trading blog over on my personal YouTube page. That's Akil Stokes. You can go over there and subscribe as well, or check out those videos just by scrolling down under the Akil Stokes playlist here on the Trade Empowered page. But I had a video I released on, I think, Wednesday saying, ugh, this week stunk. And I kind of explained why. There, it was very unfortunate, I guess you can say. I had a lot of trading opportunities where we did perfect analysis, we did perfect placement as far as um, putting stops and targets on. Unfortunately, got a little bit unlucky in the market not filling my orders. Some spiked through and did not get filled. Others reversed a pip or two away from my entries only to roll on and hit targets. And uh, this is something that happens time to time in the markets. You gotta get used to it. There are times where you will get unlucky. There are times where you will get lucky. Um, unfortunately, I was on the unlucky side and it happened on about five trades. So I did the math and I, I missed uh, essentially hundreds of pips by about five pips in total over five trades. So very unfortunate week. I still finished on the positive side, but it could have been a lot better. And um, that would have been really good to really end the year on a hot streak like that. I'm talking like a 400 pip week, which would have been terrific. But it happens. Um, again, watch that blog post. It's called Today It Just Stunk or Well Today Stunk, something like that. If you want some more insight on how to handle that situation, if you're going through it yourself, and certainly how to avoid making mistakes that could potentially be devastating to your trading account. So let's head over to the charts now and take a look at Dollar Canada. And we're going to talk about a situation that is very similar to what we've been kind of reviewing the last few weeks here on our trade empowered forex market preview if you guys have been with us each and every week we've been talking less and less about advanced pattern formations and more and more about trend continuation opportunities mainly because that's kind of the mood that the market's in um i am expecting some directional movement we've consolidated for the entire year on many pairs for different reasons we have brexit we have the presidential election here we had the interest rate deal looming overhead and now that the election's over now that we we have a, a good idea of what's going to happen with interest rates the markets are starting to price a lot of these factors in and become more directional therefore 
I want to provide you some training on how to take advantage of these directional moves. So we, we do this on purpose. It's not just an accident. There is rhyme and reason for what I want to bring you in each of these videos. So we're going to look at another potential trend continuation move here on Dollar Canada, and hopefully it will spark some ideas on how you can take advantage of this pair throughout the week. All right, so let's take a look at the dollar Canada pair. We're gonna start on the daily time frame as normally, just to get our, our top down uh, perspective of what's going on in the market. Now, I forget if I brought you guys this in a Forex market preview or maybe it was a syndicate video, but essentially price action had broken out of our ascending triangle pattern here. Um, we had market hitting structure highs, hitting structure highs while creating higher lows as well. And we were expecting a breakout to the upside. And you can see we got that right around here we broke up we came down and retested it now uh, there was another video i did two weeks ago i think it's called how to trade breakouts if you look at that video we talk about different ways to trade breakout patterns um, there's a very aggressive way a very conservative way and of course a way in the middle and waiting for the breakout and the retest is one of the conservative ways to go about doing it so I am expecting, or not expecting, I am predicting, I guess you can say, continued movement to the upside here on Dollar Canada. And I wanna ask myself, how can I get involved in this move higher? I certainly think we can go higher, at least up to this level around here, about 138.25s, um, between 138 flat and 139, I guess you can say, would be the first stopping point that I'm looking for. Let me just... Um, see what we have up here yeah we have a 618 up there as well so that's gonna be right the golden mean fibonacci ratio for you guys that are into fibs that's a good level to uh start looking for i guess a first stopping point if price action were going to go higher but before we have to worry about price action go higher and where it's going to go we have to ask ourselves how can we get involved in the move and we're going to continue with our basics of reading a price chart if we just isolate this factor right here this this area of the market right here what does this look like to you guys does this look like anything familiar something we may have talked about in a free training that all of you have watched wink wink into the gray <laughs> yeah we're looking at a bullish trend right we're looking at in a we can call this our starting point right here you can call this your starting point it doesn't really matter we have this we have this um this pattern of new structure high outside return new structure high which tells us that we're trending in the bullish direction now what i would expect next is another outside return um, which this could be it we don't know until we get another new structure high so this could be the outside return right now market could push lower and this could be the outside return i don't know um yet until we have that new structure high and that's i don't want to get too off track here but that's kind of the thing about trends people a lot of traders want to switch up their trading style. I want to be counter trend trading uh, only when the market is con consolidation. I want to be a trend continuation trader only when the market is trending. And the deal is, you know, we don't know that the market is trending until it's already trending. We don't know that the market's in consolidation until it's already in consolidation. So we're never going to be ahead of it. The best thing we can do is make predictions um, and try to involve ourselves and, in areas where we have the edge. Um, so again, not to get too off topic, but that's why this technically isn't an outside return yet until we get that new, new structure high. But I'm looking for a retracement, looking for a move, um, an outside return and a way to hop on a projected move to the upside. And this is going to get clearer as I go down to my lower time frame. So if I go down to the hourly, maybe, um, let's go down to a four hour, keep this a little longer period for you guys if i go down to the four hour chart there's a few ways i can get involved let's go ahead and delete this there's a few ways i can get involved one i can look for price action to come down to this level right this previous level of structure right here you can see look left structure leaves clues and look for a buying opportunity down here this is something that we tried to involve ourselves in in the live room this week unfortunately we just didn't get the opportunity to do so or if price action pushes past this level, I'm gonna have an advanced pattern formation setting up as well. And we all know that these advanced pattern formations are high probability setups. And this is gonna be a bat formation. And I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. If I take my label out, this is gonna be our X leg, our starting point, right? Our swing low to swing high is gonna be called our X to A. Our first retracement is going to be our B leg. This is going to be the first level of potential structure, which also offers, again, 
um, a buying opportunity. This move right here is going to be our C leg and where we would look to involve ourselves in the pattern formation is gonna be called our D completion, which in the case of the bat formation is going to be at the 886, where's my D, there we go, is gonna be at the 886 Fibonacci retracement zone. And when we draw on something that makes it look a little easier for you, it gives us this formation. X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D right down there. So a potential advanced bat formation down at 132.98. Let's call it 133 even, even handled number as well. This is also the lows of our previous outside return on that daily chart. And if you want to add a little bit more Fibonacci confluence, it looks like, I'm not sure, looks like that's going to be a midway point from this bigger retracement as well. So looking at this bigger swing low to swing high, it looks like the midway point, which would be a 50% retracement. Let's see. Uh, yep, look at that. Right on a 50% retracement as well. So there's a lot lining up this level. Again, advanced bat formation. You've got previous structure looking left right here. You've got a 50% retracement from the previous move. And what, something I like to do is I like to just draw a horizontal line on here and see what other structure lines up at these levels. And if we look left, right, we'll see again structure here. We'll see a little structure here in the form of support. And then previously, the market found this area as resistance as well. So I think this 133 level um, is a great place to get involved in the upward move. Of course, you can attack this trade in many different ways. You could look at it as just being an advanced bat formation and trade it accordingly. Or you can use this as an entry reason into the bigger, oh, zoom out some, an entry reason into the bigger trend continuation move that we talked about on the daily looking for that move up to 138. So that's what's on my radar this week for Dollar Canada. It is a holiday week, so I'm not sure how much movement we're gonna get in the markets. The markets will essentially be shut down um, Thursday, Friday. We have Thanksgiving here in the States, but this is a longer term setup that I'll um, look, be looking to get involved in. I do have an underlying bias of dollar strength. This doesn't mean that I'm basing this decision off of that. I don't base any decisions off of fundamentals. Everything is technical based. But in the back of my mind, if I do have a, an underlying bias, it does allow me to shoot for bigger targets. And I do think we're going to see dollar strength essentially with the market kind of the, the market kind of assuming that we're going to see an interest rate hike in December. It looks like we're going to do that. And again, smart traders, what they're typically doing is they're establishing their position pr uh, before the event while the rookie traders, the novice traders, try to get in after the event. Again, the, the smart traders bank in their position before the big announcement happens, take some profits afterwards, while the rookie traders, they try to get in right afterwards, they react to it, and then sometimes they can take advantage of it, sometimes they get burnt. Um, but I am keeping that in the back of my head, especially for extended targets, uh, because there is a massive amount of upside to this trend, just like the dollar yen trade that I teased you with earlier. So, Speaking of that dollar yen trade, um, well, I'll show you that, but I just I will we'll put that in the ending credits. But I want to say appreciate you guys joining me as always. Um, every time you guys hit that like button, that subscribe button, that comment button, it does help us massively. So keep doing that. Again, if you're interested in seeing my personal blog posts and some other type of videos, make sure you subscribe to my personal channel as well. Um, just YouTube search Akil Stokes. We just passed the 25,000 subscriber mark, which was our goal for the year. So I'm very excited about that. I've got to, I've got to set some bigger goals for next year because I still got a month to spare. Um, but thank you guys for helping reach that goal. It is a big deal for me. I don't know why. I just like shooting for goals so it makes me feel like I'm going in the right direction. So we got it and it's because of you guys. So keep it up. So take care, guys. I'll, again, I'll share the video, um, the syndicate footage of the video from our dollar yen trade. You can check that out. If you, if you like this type of analysis, if you like the analysis you're about to see, check out that syndicate program, guys. It's a dollar for 30 days. So take a 30 day test drive and see if you like it. If you don't, just say I cancel and we won't charge you. If you do like it, I think it'll be very beneficial for your trading to uh, really kind of see what the reality of professional trading looks like and really the different perspectives that multiple professional traders have on the markets. It's, it's a, a great place um, it's not a signal service. Some people get mad about that. It's not a signal service, but it's a great place to learn and get a little bit of support. So 
I'll see you guys next week. Until then, plan your trade, trade your plan. Hope you enjoyed the video and the analysis that is to come. And if you have any comments or questions, just leave it in the box below. Take care, gang. Hey, Syndicate members, Akil here. It is, uh, let me turn my volume down. Hey, guys, Akil here. It is, um, what is it? Tuesday morning, November 15th, and I have an early video for you. So taking it back old school when I used to produce these things before um, our day trading days started. But I want to give you this, this video early because there is something that we're going to be watching in the live room today um, that I want to bring to your attention as well. And it's going to be a potential breakout trade on the dollar yen. Now, if we start off by taking a, a bigger perspective, we can see the yen had a big rally as of late. We've made a move like this. We've made a swing low to swing high. We've put an outside return technically to this little election dip right here. And then we recently put in a new structure high. So if you look left, because structure leaves clues, of course, we've broken this previous level of structure. We've also broken this level, pre this level of previous structure. We had a little bit of a pause there and we got through it. So if we follow our rules for reading a price chart, where would we assume that the price is going to go next? right probably our next level of structure which is up here around us call it the 111 even handle so there's lots of room to move from about 108 to about 111 300 pips and the question is how can we get involved in this trade now initially i was looking for what we usually look for a pullback in the previous structure again you can see this area right here paused a little bit this is going to be structure on the lower time frame so originally i was looking for a pullback into previous structure and, and technically i am still looking for it um and a move higher but as i go down to the lower time frames as i go down to my really my hourly you'll see the the structure level i talked about right here the little the dip boom dip this would be the zone that i'd be looking for that trend continuation trade I'm just marking my charts up all crazy but hopefully you guys are are seeing what i'm uh Showing you, I'm trying to rush this out because uh, the live room is going to be starting not too long from now. But this would be the level of structure I'd be looking at for a potential trend continuation trade. So a retrace into here and then a chance to get on higher. However, if we go down to the hourly, we also have a very simple pattern for me. This is going to be called a flag pattern. Now, we don't mention this a lot. It's not one of our typical syndicate trades. We, we try to stick to advanced pattern formations in 2618s. But this is a breakout pattern and this is um if you watched my not my most recent um forex market preview but if you watched the one titled i'm on my youtube page right now if you watched the one titled uh yeah forex training lessons how to trade breakouts it talks about the three ways to trade this type of breakout pattern so you may want to refer to that as well um but we're essentially looking at this we're looking at a move higher this is the flagpole and this is going to be your pennant pattern right here, your consolidation area. And what I'm expecting is for the market to break out to the bullish side. It's typically what we see with this type of pattern formation. And here's the part that makes it cool. If we were to get involved, right, stops need to go below this level of structure. So below our lows right here, stops need to go below 107.68. My stop loss is going to be, if I get a chance to enter this, at about 107.46s, right? Targets, however, there's a few ways to do targets. Targets, traditional way is you take the length of the flagpole. I'm trying to, there you go. You take the length of the flagpole, so you click this, you can clone it, and you can say target ones are going to be right up here. Might as well just drag this up. Right up here for target ones. You can also do Fibonacci um, levels as well. Take that Fibonacci extension tool, go from the swing low to the swing high of that move and back down you'll see you'll get a 1618 at that same area pretty good Fibonacci confluence there if you want to look for longer targets however go back out to the daily and remember what we looked at earlier right remember we talked about where can price action potentially go here and we talked about that 111 handle as well it's gonna be very close to this 1618 but we talked about price action moving to that previous level of structure up here as well so a few different options on how you can take target so this is going to be a pattern formation that is a simple pattern formation that is on my radar today in a live room um hopefully we can get a chance for the market to come down and and retest really the the lower realms of this uh 
this consolidation pattern that gives me a slightly better risk reward. It takes it from about 80 pips to about 60 pips. Um, but you can see the, there's massive upside to this trade if we're able to get a chance to enter. Um, so if I do, I will keep you guys updated.